Modern Paganism in World Cultures, Comparative Perspectives is an academic anthology edited by the American religious studies scholar Michael F. Stramiska which was published by ABC Clio in 2005. Containing eight separate papers produced by various scholars working in the field of pagan studies, the book examines different forms of contemporary paganism as practiced in Europe and North America. Modern Paganism in World Cultures was published as a part of ABC CLIO's series of books entitled Religion in Contemporary Cultures, in which other volumes were dedicated to religious movements like Buddhism and Islam. Edited by Stramiska, then a lecturer at Central Connecticut State University in New Britain, Connecticut, the volume contained contributions from scholars from a variety of academic backgrounds, some of whom were practicing pagans themselves. In her paper, the American folklorist Sabina Maliocco discussed ethnic ambivalence amongst the Italian American community in regards to the relationship between Stregaria and Wicca, whilst the Irish folklorist Jenny Butler dealt with the place of contemporary Druidry in Ireland. In a paper co written by Stramiska and Icelandic anthropologist Baldur A. Sigurvansson, the religion of Isatru in both Iceland and the United States was compared, which is followed by a piece by British anthropologist Jenny Blaine looking at the way in which British heathens viewed sacred sites. The sixth paper, written by environmental studies scholar Adrian Ivakiv, looked at paganism in Ukraine, whilst the seventh, co written once more by Stramiska, this time with humanities scholar Vilius Rudra Dunzila, looked at Romova in both Lithuania and the U.S. The final paper, produced by military veteran Stephanie Urquhart, looked at the acceptance of pagans in the U.S. military. Academic reviews were largely positive, praising the various papers for expanding the knowledge of pagan studies by focusing on less well known religions like Romava and Asatru rather than Wicca, the dominant pagan faith to which the majority of literature in the field of pagan studies had been devoted up until that point. <laughs> <laughs> Background Michael Stramiska had gained an M.A. in the Religions of India from the University of Wisconsin-Madison before going on to gain a Ph.D. in Religious Studies from Boston University. Proceeding to teach comparative religion and world history, he worked at universities in Lithuania, the United States and Japan, and at the time of Modern Paganism in World Cultures publication was lecturing in world history at Central Connecticut State University. Stramiska decided to allow the contributing authors to choose whether they would use the term pagan or neo-pagan in reference to the contemporary religious movements, arguing that they should do so according to which term is best suited to their topics. Topic. Synopsis Topic. Stramiska's Comparative Perspectives In his opening chapter, which shares its name with the book, Michael Stramiska discusses the significance of paganism to the contemporary world, although notes that this volume deals specifically with the movement in Europe and North America, in the belief that this regional focus provides a coherent frame of discussion with a number of intriguing commonalities and contrasts without degenerating into a global encyclopedia. Noting that earlier studies of pagan studies had focused primarily on the religion of Wicca and on the pagan movement in the US and UK, Stramiska explained that in this volume, he had widened the geographical scope by focusing on forms of paganism other than Wicca and on the movement in other parts of Europe and North America, such as in Canada, Ireland and Iceland, proceeding to look at the various definitions of the terms pagan and neo-pagan. Stramiska discusses why some contemporary Westerners choose to adopt such terms when they have a pejorative meaning in Western culture, concluding that not only was it an appealing marker in expressing their non-Christian beliefs, but that it also served to give them a sense of connection to ancient pre-Christian peoples and as a deliberate act of defiance against a Christian-dominated culture. Maliocco's Italian American Stregaria and Wicca 
The second paper in the volume was provided by the American folklorist Sabina Maliocco, who had studied the pagan community in the U.S. for a number of years, resulting in the publication of two books, Neo-Pagan Sacred Art and Altars, Making Things Work 2002, and Witching Culture, Folklore and Neo-Paganism in America 2004. Butler's Druidry in Contemporary Ireland In the book's third paper, the Irish folklorist Jenny Butler, who was then studying for a PhD on paganism in Ireland at the Department of Folklore and Ethnology at University College Cork and now based at the UCC's Department of Study of Religions, looked at the role of contemporary druidry in the country. Stromiska and Sigurvansson's Asatru Topic Blaine's Heathenry, the Past, and Sacred Sites in Today's Britain Topic Ivakiva the Revival of Ukrainian Native Faith <laughs> Stromiska and Dunzilla's Romova <laughs> Urquits Onward Pagan Soldiers Topic Reception and Recognition Topic Academic Reviews In a highly positive review published in the Pomegranate, the International Journal of Pagan Studies, the religious studies scholar Nikki Bardo Fralick of Iowa State University described modern paganism in world cultures as an engaging an insightful look into several under-reported forms of European and North American contemporary paganism", considering it to be "...extremely well-written, accessible, and organized." Bardo Fralick felt that the work made "...a delightful addition to the growing body of first-rate scholarship on contemporary paganism." Praising the use of maps in the book, she felt however that I found myself wishing for more detailed maps when authors referred to groups from specific counties or regional areas." Ultimately, Bardo Fralick considered the work to be "...securely placed to become a mainstay of the Pagan Scholar's bookshelf." The anthology was also reviewed by Robert Elwood of the University of Southern California for the Nova Religio Journal, who considered it notable that it focused primarily on non-Wiccan variants of paganism. Considering the work to be a substantial contribution to contemporary religious studies, he notes that the price of the volume will put many individuals off of purchasing it, but that he hoped most major libraries would acquire a copy. <laughs> <laughs> 